let me introduce you to a very useful and interesting feature in Word. Adding comments is a very common activity. But sometimes we want the other party to only add comments. We don't want them to edit anything in the document, just comments. How would you do that? Putting a document password to open it doesn't work because once you know the password, you can edit anything. Track changes doesn't work because track changes allows comments and editing. That's why Microsoft gave a nice feature under the review tab called restrict editing. This is a very powerful way of restricting document editing in many different ways. We are just going to learn one of them. We want to restrict editing. So choose this checkbox. But of course, we don't want complete restriction. That means it's a read-only document. We want people to add comments. So choose comments from this drop-down. Now this is a checkbox which anybody can activate and anybody can deactivate. I don't want that to happen. So I choose start enforcing protection and put a password twice. As of today, we need at least 22 character passwords for them to be effective. Assume the other party is now editing the document. They have no clue what is comment restriction. So naturally, they will try to type something and see what happens. Word opens this pane again and informs them that you can only insert comments in this document. Suppose you did not see this message and try to edit something. Notice that all the menu items which can lead to any kind of editing or formatting change are completely inactive. Now, how do you add a comment? There are three places. One is insert comment. Another is review new comment. And third is right click and new comment. I can add multiple comments. But this is much better than sending a completely editable document because when you get the document back, you can move to the previous or next comment very easily from here and take related action. Okay, that's about it. But there is more. If you are interested, just continue watching. Suppose the person gets confused and because they have seen all buttons being inactive, they may also get the feeling that the comments button is going to be inactive and something has gone wrong. So why not show them the insert comment button up front somewhere? This is an area on top which shows three buttons by default, save, undo and redo. Microsoft added these three buttons so that everyone in the world recognizes that they could add their own useful buttons there. Of course, nobody understood. Right click on the ribbon anywhere, choose customize quick access toolbar. That custom toolbar is called quick access toolbar. The customization dialog looks inundating, but it is not. On the right side, it shows you the buttons which you already have. On the left side, it shows you buttons which you could add to the quick access toolbar if you need them. Office has lots of buttons, so it doesn't want to show you all of them up front. That's why Microsoft shows you popular commands first. Insert comment is a popular command, so we can scroll down, find it and click on add. But generally, when you are customizing quick access toolbar and looking for a very specific button, I suggest you don't use popular commands. You use all commands because that gives you a comprehensive list. Once you have added this to quick access toolbar, click OK. But wait, when I do this, this button is going to get added here into my quick access toolbar. Is that useful to the other person? No, because I cannot change another person's quick access toolbar sitting on my PC. So let's remove this button. What I want to do is add a button there called insert comments, but that button should travel with this document. You think it is too much to ask for? Absolutely not. Microsoft has already thought of it since 2007 and given you this capability. So again, right click, customize quick access toolbar, but this time, look at 
where that customization is going. For all documents default basically means it's my quick access toolbar. Open this drop down, choose this particular document and now add the insert comment button. Visually it looks the same as before but there is a difference as to where it is stored. This button is stored with the document now. How do I prove it to you? When I create a new document, notice that the insert comment button vanishes because it's not associated with this document. Now when the other person gets my document, automatically this button will be added to it. And you can probably highlight it for the first time by putting a small screenshot when you're sending the mail so that it's more obvious. Now I think we have finished the topic. No, not yet. Okay, so let's come back to the original document. No restriction has been added as of now. What more would I want? Well, sometimes what you want is people should put comments only except in specific areas. For example, I have a summary written here. Maybe I want people to add their own summary here. So what do I do? First of all, I say allow only this type of editing and choose comments. We already understand this. Now this is the rule. You may have exceptions. By default, there is a checkbox which says everyone. What does this mean? There are no exceptions. That means whoever opens the document, they can only put comments. Fine. I want the other party to edit only this part, not the title called summary, the contents of the summary. Now, after selecting the range, I click on everyone, which in simple language means for the entire document, allow only comments, but for that particular area, allow people to edit. Now we put the password and the document is protected. When the other person opens it, how do they know that they can also edit some parts of the document? That's why these buttons are given. Typically, I'll use the first one, which says find the next region I can edit. Because in a long document, you're not going to search by scrolling. And it does take you to that area. See how smart it is. When I'm in the editable region, all the buttons are active. When I click outside the editable region, all the editing buttons are inactive. While I'm saying all this, there is a caveat. All these features are not available on browser-based editing. These require a full version of Word. So what is the conclusion? Comments have many things worth commenting about. So start using them and spread the word. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. Also subscribe to my blog Efficiency365 where I write one article every day about how to become more efficient using Office. Thank you.